Hey guys! Okay, so this video is going to be a quick one because, well, it's late and I need to get to bed soon, but I have an unboxing video. Isn't that a beautiful box? Look at it. Look at that beautiful box. Okay, so it's from Jean Book Nerd Story Storytellers Box. Blah. And it is the Starry Night Collection. And I just got it today. I am ready to open it. Let's get going. We're not going to muss or fuss or anything like that. Okay? Okay. Let's go. And the reason for it is because, uh, like I said, I just got it today. And I have work tomorrow. And I don't want Bug... Bug opening the box before you know, before I get to. And, and he's been doing that lately, and it's just, oh. So, first thing I see is an envelope. I will open it later. Not even going to record it. I will look at it later. And this is what it looks like, like this. It looks like this is a tote bag which is awesome. They're always a plus with me. It's beautiful. It's blue. Has that same design on the box. Love it. And then here are the other items. There we go. All right. First box I'm going to look at is this one. Let's see what's in here. So far, tissue. It is... Ooh, a coaster. I've been wanting to get another coaster. Has the Storyteller's Box cover for the Story Night Collection. Starry Night Collection. Love it. Okay, next one. We're gonna just go like this. This box. I am in love with the flowers and the constellations. I kind of wanna keep that. Ooh, it's a candle with a design. And I don't know if you're gonna see my cat or not, but she's in the bed now, and she might have cat butt all over you guys, and I'm sorry about that. But I'm not going to stop. So we got a candle. And then another box. The same cool star motif going on here, because that's the theme of this box. Lift up my glasses. Velcro, please leave. That's the cat's name. It is... Oh, that is a great way to hide a t-shirt. And here it is. The t-shirt. It's a big t-shirt, too. I think it might be a little large for me. But I love it. I'm probably going to wear Ooh, it's soft, too. Ooh. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow to work. I don't care. And this box. And inside that one, this one is coffee. Oh, that's always a plus for me. Oh, guys, I wish you guys could smell this. It is yummy smelling. Ooh, yes. And then there's a little baggie. See, I'm going really fast on this, and I'm sorry if that's the way. Um, if you follow my Instagram, there will be pictures. I will probably also, maybe I'll also do it on my face, on my blog too. But uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all three are interconnected and everything, so you will be able to see it if you follow me in one of those things. Honestly, you should just follow me on all, though, because you love me. That, that's what it comes down to. All right. 
It was a little baggy, and for some reason I'm having a lot of trouble trying to open it. It's the buttons. I love the buttons. I know exactly where I'm going to put that, and it's going to be great. Well, Cat has found the box. And it looks like there's another card. This one I will actually open right now. Love, love, love this. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to like keep it. Ooh, I can make it into a bookmark because it is just so pretty. I need to find out where you guys got that. It's pretty. All right, this is don't know what it is. It's a star and it has the, the design from the box. I'm sure there's something to tell me what it is. I'm just not going to look at it. I'll list everything that is in this box later. That's very pretty. And ooh, cool. Oh, I like this. Character cards or stickers. Either way, characters, and I'm in love with her. She is badass. Look at her. Oh. Ooh, I like that. He's not bad looking either, but I, I feel that she's she will be my favorite. Ooh, my nose. Sorry about that. And it says, Destiny has no allegiance in the shadow of a valiant moon. <laughs> All right. Man down. All right, guys. So my phone fell. Uh, my stand is not working like it used to. I'm probably going to have to get another uh, tripod or something, which annoys me but it is the way of life when you have a bug in your life. So um, that's what we're dealing with now. And so I'm gonna have to open the rest with one hand. Luckily, all that's left is this. So, and I am doing a masterful job, job, job opening it. I wonder if this... Okay, no, it's not. Oh. But it probably had Velcro. Oh, no, okay, it was glued. So, there we go. I'm, I'm unwrapping it. I'm unwrapping it. And it is a book, which I had a feeling anyway. And I love it. Ooh, I love this cover. We all have demons. Some demons have you. It Takes Death to Reach a Star by Stu Jones and Gareth Worthington. Here's the cover. Ooh. And uh, let me read the back. The world you know is dead. We did this to ourselves. The epidemic struck at the end of the world of the Third World War, fighting over oil, power, and religion, governments ignored the rise of the an of an antibacterial resistant plague. In just five years, the earth was annihilated. Only one city survived, Etium, a frozen hellhole in southern Siberia, engulfed in endless conflict. The year is 2251. Two groups emerged from the ashes of the old world. Within the walled city of Lower Etium dwell the robusts, the robusts, descendants of the poor who were immune to the new Black Death, and above them, in a metropolis of pristine, ooh, excuse me, pristine platforms called lily pads, lived the Graciels, the progeny of the super rich, bioengineered to resist the plague. Mia Solo Solokov is a robust who trades information in a world where knowing too much can get you killed. 
Caught in a deal gone bad, she's forced to take a high-risk job for a clandestine organization hell-bent on revolution. Dmitry Stasevich, Stasevich, I need to work on these, is a gray seal with a dark secret, a sickness that, if discovered, will get him axed. He's, his only relief is an Ill illegal narcotic produced by the robusts. And his only means of obtaining it is a journey to the Arctic hell far below New Etium. Thrust together in the midst of a sinister plot that threatens all life above and below the cloud line, Mia and Dimitri must master their demons and make a choice, one that will either salvage what's left of the human race or doom it to extinction. I'm sold. I'm not even really big on sci-fi, but I'm sold. I want to I want to read it. I was going to say watch it, which says something right there. From the description alone, it could probably be a movie or a TV show. Anyway. Okay, so I've opened up the box and like I said, it was just going to be a quick opening. I'm going to do a later transition, you're going to see me again, and I'll be wearing something different, probably the shirt, why not? And I will be giving you more information about the Jean Book Nerd Storyteller's Box. Uh, like I said, I just didn't have any patience, and I wanted to go ahead and just ram through it and get this open. And now that it's open, I now need to clean it all up. I'll see you guys and I'm back. in a bit. Um, I'm wearing the shirt Ta -da! from the box and now I'm going I've also opened up that black envelope and it happens to be this right here very pretty it's signed by Jean herself it says shoot for the moon even if you miss you'll land among the stars very pretty and uh, so that that was the whole box that you have seen earlier this shirt is indeed very comfy and soft just in case you wanted to know. Um, so that is the Storyteller's Box, the Starry Night Collection from uh, Jean Book Nerd. And you can find Jean Book Nerd on Facebook, or no, not Facebook, oh my, Twitter, at Jean Book Nerd, Instagram, at Jean Book Nerd, and the website, www.jeanbooknerd.com. And down below will be a description of like the box, all the different contents, so that you can look through it again and pinpoint everything. I was incorrect about that star thing. It was not a magnet, it's a sticker. And uh, those signed book plates, uh, those signed character cards are also stickers. They're signed book plates. I have no idea how I'm going to arrange them in my book yet. I like to put the signed book plates on the actual book. I need to figure out how I want to do it. And that's about it, except for if you want to get a box yourself, go to jeanbooknerd.com and use the promo code CASIA10. Information is down below. That will give you 10% off your first box. Have a good day. Keep safe. And I'll see you again soon with my other video about shaking up fiction formulas. All right. Bye, guys.